So, we are going to solve problem 3.49 from Sadiku book. And the question is, find V0 and I0. And V0 is this node here from the ground. So, let's start by drawing some loops that we need to solve this problem. So, I will make three loops. Sorry about that. This is loop number one. Loop number two is here, and the last one, this one, is loop number three. Okay. Okay, I think I will make the loop larger, like this. So, we will have that three loops, and we will, here, if we pay attention, we have current source here, so we have no way to know the voltage between this current source so we need to do super loop analysis so we can make this one here as a super loop so we have one super loop and three regular loops so we start at the super loop. Okay, at super loop. We apply KVL. KVL states that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to zero. So if we do super loop analysis, we do analysis individually actually, I1 and I2. So, we don't take any consideration of this super loop current, but it's current of the loops. So, let's make that to the mathematics. And we start from this 2 ohm resistor here. Again, we focus on this small loops, loop number one. So, we multiply it by I1, but it is the only current that passes through it, so I don't need to subtract anything. So, to I1, and we move on to this voltage source. So, the sign will be negative because it's flowing from negative to positive, minus, and the value is 27. And we move on to this resistor here, 2 ohm, plus 2. So here we focus on this loop 2, not to the super loop. So I will have I2, but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have minus I3. And the last component will be this 1 ohm resistor, plus 1. And again, the focus in is in this loop, loop 1. So, I will have I1, but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So, I will have minus I3. And that will equal to 0. Now, what can we do from here? We can move this minus 27 to the right-hand side. Okay. And then for I1, I have 2 plus 1. So, I will have 3 i1 for i2 i only have 2 i2 2 i2 and for i3 i have here minus 2 and minus 1 so i will have minus 3 i3 and that will equal to 27 let's move it here to make it clearer and let's save this as equation number one Okay, so we have three variables here, I1, I2, and I3, so we need two more equations. So let's move on to this loop number three. Okay, let's do loop number three. And we start from this 3 ohm resistor, the easiest case, because the only current that passes through it is I3, 3. I3 
and then we move on to this one ohm resistor plus one and the focus here is in i3 so i multiplied by i3 but here i1 is flowing to the opposite direction so i subtract i1 from it and then here we have this 2 ohm resistor again the focus is i3 because we are working on loop 3 so i multiply it by i3 but here i2 is flowing to the opposite direction minus i2 and that will equal to 0 and again we have this one 1 to multiply by i1 so i will have minus i1 and then plus 2 multiplied by minus i2 i will have minus 2 i2 and for i3 i will have 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 2 it's 6 6 i3 and that will equal to 0 and let's have this as equation number 2 so now we have two equations but we have three variables so what can we do here we can take a look at this current source here so in the current source we the current that the same the, the current that have same direction as the current source is i1 so i will have I1 sign will be positive and I2 is flowing to the opposite of the current source so the, the resultant of this will be the value of that current source so 2I0 but here I0 is equal to I1 so I will have I1 minus I2 is equal to 2i1 and then we can move this to the right hand side i1 minus i2 to the right hand side so i will have 2i1 minus i1 so i will have i1 and i2 become positive and that will equal to zero now we have equation number three and we have three equations with three variables we can solve this let me copy the equations and solve them so now we have this three system of equations and let's solve this our goal is find i1 why because i1 is equal to i0 thus answering the questions so we start by eliminating this i3 because here we don't have i3 so i will eliminate i3 first so how to do it i multiply the equation 1 by 2 and i leave the equation 2 alone so here we have 6 i1 plus 4 i2 minus 6 i3 is equal to 54 and here we have minus i1 minus 2i2 and we will have plus 6i3 and that will equal to 0 we can add to eliminate i3 so i will have 54 plus 0 is 54 and here 4 minus 2 is plus 2 plus 2i2 and then here we have 6 minus 1 it is 5i1 okay so now we have this equations and we need to eliminate this i2 how to do it uh, i will multiply equation number 3 by 2 so i will have 2i1 plus 2i2 and that will equal to 0 and we subtract 
it from here so i will have three i1 is equal to 54 so i will have i1 54 divided by 3 is 18 ampere or in the other words i0 is 18 ampere okay this is the answer of these questions okay for finding v0 we will need all the value of i1 i2 and i3 so let's find out here i1 plus i2 is 0 so i will have i1 is 18 ampere so i2 is minus 18 ampere and for i3 i will substitute this and this to equation number two we will have minus 18 minus 2 minus 18 plus 6 i3 and that will equal to 0 and here we will have minus 18 plus 36 plus 6 i3 will equal to 0 and I will have 6 i3 will become minus 18 and thus i3 is minus 3 ampere so we have i1 i2 and i3 and let's erase the board and see what can we do so we have 18 minus 18 and minus 3 as i1 i2 and i3 and we need to find out v0 here first we need to have this note here and it is 27 volt because it is this this is a voltage source from the ground and then here we have i2 and i3 i2 is minus 18 and i3 is minus 3 so here if we assume that the current is going there so we will have v0 minus 27 divided by 2 will equal to i3 minus i2 so okay let's start inputting the value i3 is minus 3 i2 is minus 18 so i will have plus 18 and that will equal to v0 divided by v0 minus 27 divided by 2 and here is 15 15 times 2 will be 13 and that will equal to v0 minus 27 or v0 is equal to 57 volt so here is the final answer of v0 and previously we get i0 is 18 ampere so it is the final answer of this questions hopefully i did not make any mistakes thank you for watching